Hello everybody welcome back to my channel this is Roshan Thomas and in today's video I'm going to show you how to print sexy primes within a range this will be a java tutorial and we will be doing a console application which prints uh, sexy primes within a range of numbers so I hope you guys know what a prime number is prime number is a number which is uh, divisible by itself and one that means there's only two factors one and itself so I'm going to give you a brief introduction about what sexy primes are and uh, Let's get into that. So, as you know, prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, 13, etc. And uh, as I said, they are only divisible by 1 and itself. And uh, we have sexy primes here. I heard this concept uh, recently when I was uh, attending an interview. They had one of the questions uh, like uh, print sexy primes within a uh, range. I'll put an example of sexy prime here. Uh, it is uh, 5 and uh, 11, 7, 13. That means uh, difference between these two prime numbers will be 6. That's why they are called sexy primes. So 11 minus 5 we get 6. 13 minus 7 we get 6. And as it is derived from Latin, in Latin sex means 6. Uh, that's why sexy prime. I want to hear from you guys. Uh, uh, put it, put that in comments. Uh, uh, how did you uh, hear about this sexy prime? Sir? And um, uh, where did you uh, learn about this? Do you know any better implementation of this? Because uh, how? The code I'm going to show is is my own implementation. I didn't find any tutorial on YouTube, so I saw, I thought I would share it on YouTube. And uh, I hope you understood what sexy primes are. And let's get into the code. So I'm gonna use Eclipse ID, and it's uh, Eclipse Mars 2, I think. And uh, I'm not gonna type any code today. I'm gonna spend time explaining how the code works and uh, why I put such and such things in the code. Before moving on, I'll show how the code runs here. So right click run as, run as java application here so always use java resource before launching and uh, I'll click ok here so uh, I need to put in a range first so I'll put 30 just for example and we get the sexy primes here so 5 11 7 13 11 17 13 19 17 23 23 9, 29 so below 30 we have uh, these many uh, numbers which uh, which can be paired to called as sexy primes so as you can see difference between all of these are 6 so let's get into the code so in the code uh, in my perspective I divided into 3 uh, so in first section we have a uh, code which determines whether a number is prime or not which will be from here to here in the second in the second implementation uh, we have an array uh, and we'll store all the all of our primes in a particular range uh, into the array after that using that array we'll find out uh, the sexy primes so I'll start with the start at the top in the we have in the main function we have I've declared uh, some variables here one is flag uh, num and uh, which is our range and m equal to 0 I have an array declared here and uh, I imported a scanner here uh, scanner in is called new scanner system dot in and uh, our range num I'm gonna store our range here by using our scanner variable in dot next int so that will take input from the keyboard after that taking input from the keyboard as we store it here I'm gonna close the uh, our scanner here uh, to avoid resource leakage I put my every other code inside the try catch block. So in our first function to uh, code to find whether a number is prime or not, uh, we have a for loop here, and inside that we have one more for loop. So in the first for loop, uh, we are going to iterate from two. So the initial value of our uh, iteration will be i equal to two, which will move until the condition i less than or equal to num num, which is our range, it will increment by one after every successful loop. So after that, uh, if we successfully in, uh, enter the loop, uh, we have flag set to zero. Uh, after flag set to zero, we have one more uh, for loop in which uh, j equal to two and it uh, goes until j less than or equal to i by two. And it uh, after success after every successful loop, uh, j increments by one. Inside that, we check if i percentage j, I mean i modulus j equal to zero. If uh, it satisfies that uh, particular condition we increment the flag by 1 in the initial case we had flag set to 0 if the condition 
is satisfies here the flag is set to 2 uh, flag is set to 1 yeah flag plus plus means flag is equal to flag plus 1 that means it increments flag by 1 and immediately after that we break out of this uh, if statement and if and the statement continues until this loop uh, works and uh, we are out of this loop then we check our next if statement which is the one important uh, if statement to de determine whether the number is prime or not so in that we check if the flag is equal to 0 if so we have an array declared here already so uh, we insert our our value which is i into the array so a of m m is the index so i have initialized the index to m equal to 0 so in our first case the a will be uh, m will be 0 and a of 0 equal to i that will be will increase uh, that will be insert our first prime number into the array and immediately after that we are uh, in incrementing the index by 1 so m plus plus after that uh, we are back to our first loop so I am gonna give you a brief example uh, in the first case let's say i is equal to 2 and uh, we get inside here and we check i which is 2 less than equal to num and which is obviously num uh, let's say num is 20 and obviously it satisfies and we are inside the loop and we set the flag to 0 and we are uh, we are going to check our next for loop where j is equal to 2 and we check whether j less than equal to i by 2 i by 2 is where i is 2 2 by 2 we get and 1 and j less than equal to 1 it fails so we don't get inside this loop we don't get inside this for loop and uh, we end up here and here we check if flag equal to equal to 0 and in this case it's true and uh, we get inside and we store our first element which is 2 which is a prime number into our array first position of our array and when uh, and then we increment our index to our second position of the array after that we are back to our first loop and we say flag equal, uh, i equal to 3 and it satisfies this condition and we are back here we set the flag to 0 uh, we set j equal j is 2 again because uh, in the first case the loop failed and uh, there is no incrementation and uh, we check again uh, where i will be 3 let me put it 3 and i will be 3 and we set 3 by 2 3 by 2 will be 1 and the condition fails again and we insert our and we end up here we insert our second prime number which is 3 to the to our array and m plus plus the index is incremented then again the i will be 4 put it 4 here and we are back here and uh, there is no incrementation in this uh, uh, loop here so j will be 2 here j less than equal to i is 4 by 2 4 by 2 is equal to 2 j, j less than equal to 2 satisfies and we get inside this loop and when we get inside this we check i percentage j so i is 4 and percentage j is equal to 2 so 4 percentage 2 that's a successful uh, division and we get 0 as reminder so that satisfies and we get inside and we increment flag by 1 so when we increment flag by 1 and we break out we check here if the flag is equal to 0 as flag is not equal to 0 it is 1 and we come out of here so no insertion takes place thus the loop continues and we get all the prime numbers stored in our array so just to show you how this array works I'm gonna comment this control forward slash and we comment that and I'm gonna copy this for loop here okay so I'm gonna uh, let's say okay open the array here uh, open the for loop and uh, we have int is equal to 0 we are gonna iterate from 0 to m minus 1 and is at plus plus so I'm gonna just simply print out the array just to show you guys okay uh, i'm gonna print the array so a of a of z that will print our array so as you can see i put uh, uh, m minus uh, so we are gonna iterate till m minus 1 i put m minus 1 because every time we in increment our index our index is always pointing to the next position from our previous insertion so we don't want that so always our index is pointing at a empty not empty it will be zero so let me show you uh, what happens if i put uh, m here so I'm gonna save that and run run as Java application 
and I'm gonna give a range here. Now we can see uh, we got our prime number here. Uh, I mean uh, we have I put this here four, so that's why I'll put two here back again. So what happened here? Uh, we get a zero at last. So we don't want this zero. That's why uh, we want to uh, we want our index be pointing at here at the last our previous insertion. So that's why I put here m minus one. So now what happens? Now when we run this, what we get? I'm gonna put the range here. So as you can see, we have all our prime numbers listed below uh, below the range 20, and uh, we don't have any zero here. That's why I put the m minus one. So in our next code, uh, that will be essential for for you to understand. So I'm gonna uncomment this, and I'm gonna remove this code here. And this part will be used to uh, we, uh, find out the sexy primes. So here we have two for loops. In our first loop, uh, we are uh, comparing contents of our array, cross comparing them to find out uh, whether the whether the pairs are uh, sexy primes or not. So in our first one, we have is it equal to zero, which will iterate from zero to m minus one, and uh, it will increment by one after a, su a successful loop. In our second for loop, we have int x is equal to z plus one. That is a dynamically assigning the next position of our array. So it, when, uh, in the first case it will be 0 and this will be 1. So 0 plus 1, 1. And it will also iterate till m minus 1. Uh, as I mentioned the reason below. So it will also uh, increment by 1 after a successful loop. After all this uh, we have a p in which we are checking. Uh, we are uh, Differencing our two arrays, uh, not two uh, values of array. So a of x will be this one here, which will be greater number because it is z plus one, and and a of z, which will be our smallest number. So we are putting it uh, largest minus smallest to avoid a negative number. We don't want that. That's why I put it here like this. And if we are checking, uh, we are taking the difference and storing it to in six. And we are in our next if statement, we are checking if the difference p. If the p is equal to 6, then we are printing out the sexy prime. If p will be equal to 6, then the number will be sexy prime and we print it out. So that's what taking place. So I'm gonna show you a small uh, diagram, not diagram. Uh, so here we have an array. It's a linear representation of the array. So we have our array here. Uh, our uh, data will be stored uh, uh, in a, a sorted manner, not sorted from small to big. 2, 3, 5, 11, 7, that's how the data will be stored here. This is the array index 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, until etc. So what happens here? In our first two loops, uh, we, our first value for the first loop will be 0. And in the second loop, the value start, will start from 1. So we are comparing 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, 0, 4, 0, 5, until m minus 1. And in our next loop, we are comparing 1 and 2. 1 and 3, 1 and 4, 1 and 5 until m minus 1. And now in third loop, we are comparing 2, 3, 2, 4, 2, 5 until m minus 1. And until uh, we satisfy this whole thing. So at the end of this uh, program, uh, we'll get a, we'll get the sexy plan. I hope you guys understood what I'm trying to say. Uh, if you don't understand, uh, please uh, take a pen and paper and uh, try to do the math. After every successful loop, change the value and do the math, you will understand this. It's very simple, simple logic. If you have any doubts, please put them in the comment section. And please let me know how helpful this was. And if you have any other doubts, and put them in the comment section. And if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you don't like this video, please put in some suggestions and hit the dislike button. And subscribe for more videos and I'm gonna come up with more of such videos and uh, different tutorials. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.